Well, hello there, my bow fishing brethren. This is Tim Daniels from THS Sporting Center. And uh, one of my uh, recent trips on uh, June 16, 2021, out in uh, Lake Huron. Uh, Lake Huron is one of my favorite places to shoot later in the year. It's just because of the uh, water clarity that I'm able to find over there. And uh, it's some of the colder water areas, too. So it's like one of the last to warm up. You know, during this trip, uh, you're going to see uh, a couple of changes in the lights. And right now, I'm running uh, just the uh, AC Volgrum uh, LED lights. And that's uh, five floodlights and four spotlights, all in 50-watt warm white. You know, adjusting the amount of light that you're using is, quite honestly, uh, beneficial. You know, this water here is less than a foot deep. Uh, there is no reason on earth to, uh, you know, need uh, 400 watt uh, high pressure sodiums in uh, crystal clear water that is uh, less than a foot deep. You know, having a well-balanced boat makes a big difference. Uh, when I was setting this boat up and putting in the benches, putting in the batteries, and moving a few things around, I, I, I did that to before I started mounting everything right where it is. And uh, here's an example that I'm in water here that's about six inches deep, uh, at least in a moment it'll be. And, uh, you know, I was able to get the trolling motor just basically touching the bottom. It was a silty, uh, uh, soft bottom and uh, able to power through this and then with the push pull you'll see that again the water is just very shallow basically just the forks are touching the uh, surface of the uh, 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 water there as I'm pushing through this. Again, really clear water, just using the uh, Volgram LEDs. Um, one of the things I like having on top here is that 10 watt uh, light. Um, it's a 10 watt warm white light from Volgram, any 10 watt floodlight would do. Uh, but it, when you get your fish on top of the deck, being able to see them, take out the tip, you know, you know, wrestle around with them, it, it just helps working with your line if you have to retie. You know, although I didn't see a whole lot of action in this trip because I didn't really shoot a lot of big fish that were just barely hanging on, I uh, have a four-foot gaff uh, available on each side of the shooting deck. Um, this is something that, again, I use uh, as often as I do on fish as it is to clear off uh, sometimes seaweed off of the uh, trolling motor. Good. 
you know, for years now I've been using trash cans as uh, fish barrels. And one of the reasons being is I like to be able to slide them around and adjust the weight on the boat, especially if you're going to shoot multiple trash cans. Uh, nowadays I shoot, you know, maybe two trash cans of fish uh, in the early springtime, and then I usually call it quits for the evening. Um, it uh, Shooting anything more than that just becomes really burdensome. It's a lot of lifting. Um, I dispose of all these fish typically on my own property, so again, there's only so much that Mother Nature can take in at one time. So I just shot a fish with my, uh, my uh, 30 pound G-Rex and I have a backup G-Rex which is set at only at 25 pounds and 27 inches and uh, this was uh, a fish that I thought it was going to be getting away. Uh, I like having that set up. It's really worked out well for me. Uh, both these bows are shooting uh, mega mouth reels um, with 250 pound test. I load my line uh, without the spool cover on so I know that I'm getting the maximum amount of line on my reel. Uh, the Mega Mouth reels themselves seem to shoot noticeably better when they're really full or is at their highest capacity of carrying line. You know, for my style bow fishing, uh, again, that anchor QT is just a great tip. Um, easy off, uh, typically, on uh, most fish. Uh, you know, probably most of the fish that I'm shooting are probably closer to 10 pounds. Uh, this thing is effective on 20-pound fish and even slightly heavier. Um, I've had decent luck with it, even up to fish to 30 pounds. And again, depending on the time of year, where you're hitting the fish, how solid the fish is, uh, those are all uh, variables. But again, one nice thing about the quick turn is that if you get stuck in roots, you can reach the arrow, you can just, you know, twist the arrow counterclockwise, bounce it back and forth a couple of times, and it'll pull clean. So in a moment, you're going to see me walk back to the control box here and switch on the uh, other lights, which are the four 100-watt arrow LEDs. Uh, there's two up front and one on each side. Uh, these are 100-watt DC current halo version or model uh, uh, LED lights. And again, this water's a little bit deeper. It's a little siltier, so I need that little bit of extra power. And... Um, in a little bit you'll see it probably click back off again because again I'm back to shallow water and clear.
you know, in general, um, my everyday shooting bow is my uh, G Rex uh, set at 27 and a half inches and 30 pounds. Um, you know, for most shooting situations at night, you know, 30 inches of water um, or less, you know, it, it works out well. Yes, I've shot fish at four feet down with this bow, even deeper. Uh, but if you get a larger bodied fish, depending on the angle, it's always about margins. Um, and uh, it's uh, it works out well. Um, would I use this thing for shooting fish eight feet down? Uh, no, uh, it would uh, use a 44 pound bow or 45 pound bow. So here you're seeing the transition again from um, uh, the all the lights being on, being the Vulgrams and the uh, arrows back down to just the uh, 9 50 watt warm white uh, Vulgram LED lights. You know, this was a, a nice evening. Um, it, uh, a decent amount of fish to shoot. Um, I think I shot just about a about a half a barrel, I think it was, this night. And uh, really enjoyed myself. It was nice to be able to get out and relax. And uh, I guess get a little exercise running around on the boat and picking up these fish is a little bit of physical exercise. But the, uh, the mental vacation is sort of nice, too. Uh, anyways, I hope uh, all of you have a damn good day or at least try like hell. Remember, there is only one today. Do your best to live it well. Take care.